Joanna here again. This is part two of how to make your fringe. All right, so I I measured mine is about 12 inches, and the 12 inches will take me midway to this orange line here. So I'm gonna be very careful when I'm cutting. So you're gonna cut your fringe up to I know you could measure it, you could pin it, you could put a row of pins. All right. And I'm cutting on the wrong side, so it was roll on my right side. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut a few more and show you what I'm gonna do because I wouldn't have time to cut the entire dress, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull to get my fringe, and I'm gonna tie a knot right up to the top of where my fringe ended and I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna tie a knot at the end of my fringe All right that will ensure it stays in place if it's a knit cut knit it should roll and you don't have to you don't have to knot the ends but I, I just like this look so I'm gonna do another one I'm gonna knot carry my knot straight up to where ended and one more time and I'm gonna do this for the entire dress all the fringes right around right if you want you could mark draw lines as the way you want your fringe to go but be very careful because you can't cut out the back of your fringe okay so this is another style you're gonna like it when it comes out and you try it for yourself maybe to go on the beach or to go in the mall or just to hang out with your friends so joanna here saying again just keep sewing and remember